6th grade, Module 3, Lesson 10, Problem Set. For each of the relationships described below, write an inequality that relates the rational numbers. 7 feet below sea level is further below sea level than 4.5 feet below sea level. So since we're talking below sea level, 7 feet below sea level, we have negative 7 is further below, is less than 4.5 feet below sea level, negative 4.5. So negative 7 is less than negative 4.5. 16 degrees Celsius is warmer than 0 degrees Celsius. So this is positive 16 because it's warmer. 16 is greater than 0 degrees Celsius. 3 and 1 half yards of fabric is less than, so 3 and a half is less than 5 and a half yards of fabric. 3 and a half is less than 5 and a half. Number 4, a loss of 500, so loss would be negative 500 in the stock market, is worse than a gain, so is less than a gain, positive 200. Negative 500 is less than 200. A test score of 64 is worse than, so I'm going to say less than, a test score of 65. Oh, and it keeps going. And a test score of 65, so this 65 is worse than a test score of 67 and a half. In December, the total snowfall was 13 and 2 tenths inches, which is more than, so 13 and 2 tenths is more than the total snowfall in October and no November, which was 3 and 7 tenths inches and 6 and 15 and hundredths inches, respectively. So 13 and 2 tenths was greater than which one co would come next. So next would be 6 and 15 hundredths, which is greater than three and seven tenths. For each of the following, use the information given by the inequality to describe the re relative position of the numbers on a horizontal number line. So negative two tenths is less than negative one tenths. So we could say negative two tenths on a number line, it would be to the left of negative one tenth. So we're just describing the position on a number line. Or you could say negative one tenth is to the right of negative two tenths. They're the same thing. So eight and one fourth, oh, I wrote one half, would be to the, it's greater than negative eight and one fourth, would be to the right of negative eight and one fourth. Negative 2 is less than 0 is less than 5. So let's say negative 2 is to the left of 0, and 0 is to the left of 5. Negative 99 is greater than negative 100, so since it's greater than, you can say negative 99 is, would be to the right of negative 100. And then the last one, negative 7 and 6 tenths is less than negative 7 and a half, which is less than negative 7. So they're all to the left, or negative 6 and tenths to, to the left of negative 7 and a half. And negative seven and a half is to the left of negative seven. And number 12. Fill in the blanks with numbers that are correctly complete each of the statements. Three integers between negative four and zero. So this could be a lot of, um, well, integers means whole numbers. So three integers between negative four and zero. So the three integers between those would be negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. So we can say negative 3 is less than negative 2, which is less than negative 1. 
three rational numbers between 16 and 15. So this could come up with a lot of things because it's just any rational number. So it could anything with a fraction, it's going to have to have a fraction or a decimal point because there is no whole number between 16 and 15. So let's start with, we need to start at the lower end. I'll start with 15 and 1 fourth would be less than 15 and a half, which is less than 15 and 3 fourths. Or you could have written something with decimals. There are a lot of other possibilities. Three rational numbers between negative 1 and negative 2. So again, lots of choices here. I'll do decimals this time. So anything between negative 1 and negative 2, starting with the smallest because we're starting with less than. So I'm going to do negative 1 and 9 tenths would be less than negative 1 and 5 tenths, which is less than negative 1 and 2 tenths. We well, could choose, there's lots of different choices there. As long as they're going from least to greatest, you're good. And three integers between 2 and negative 2. So these are integers, so whole numbers, between 2 and negative 2. That would be 0, 1, and negative 1. We just need to know what order to put it in. So it's going least to greatest. So we'll have negative 1, 0, and 1. 